What's up guys, it's Dragon Ball for Life here today, I'm back with another video. Now, I know the location is kind of weird, I usually film downstairs, but the thing is there's so many downstairs and they have work to do there, so I couldn't really film down there, so I'm filming upstairs in my room, so yeah, uh, it shouldn't be too big of a problem, I don't see anything wrong with it, but yeah, just so you guys know, I'm filming up here for today. Now, before I do get into this video, I do want to tell you guys, Go check out my second channel, my music channel, Music Elitist. I'll have the links in the description down below. So go check it out. I've been uploading quite a bit on there. I'm going to be uploading today uh, right after I'm done making these videos for my main channel. Uh, I have been working on it. I really enjoy it. I've been, I've been loving it and it's been actually doing decently well. But I would love for you guys to be also going on that channel, subscribing and, you know, just viewing the videos. That I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys will probably enjoy it. If you guys love music and love watching reactions to music, you'll probably love it too. So yeah, let's get into the topic in hand. I want to talk about season four of The Boys. Well, the finale only. I don't want to talk about the whole season, just the finale and my thoughts on it. Now, if I'm being honest, this finale was a very, very weak one. This season as a whole was very strong. It was very good. I enjoyed it. Except for the finale. I felt the finale was a big letdown and a disappointment. And it was for one specific reason, and it was this character right here, Ryan. I absolutely hate this character. First, when this character was introduced, he was like a real nothing type of character where it's like... it. It was obviously there was going to be some uh, he was going to be some plot uh, convenience later on down the road. Some uh, at some point people were uh, speculating that they were going to basically train him to uh, help take out Homelander since he has the powers of Homelander and Homelander hasn't to, seemed to have any challenge that can handle him, which was kind of just, uh, changed in this season, especially with this final episode, which disproved it. And I'll get into why that is stupid and the way they did is pretty dumb. But yeah. This character was really nothing for a long time, except for this, until we got to this episode, where now he's actually actively getting involved, and he's the main reason uh, a big uh, something big happened. And I want to go through why I don't like this, and some of you guys might be saying, oh, well, certain things, but I'll prove, I'll explain to you what I mean. Now, my biggest problem is how uh, Homelander survived, what happened with that whole situation, because first... There was a kind of bit of a discourse between the teams. You had Huey, uh, uh, Stargirl, uh, uh, Frenchie, uh, Kimiko, and uh, Mother's Milk. All of them working to all of them trying to stop, uh, you know, Billy, uh, Soldier Boy, and Queen Maeve from doing what they're doing because of they let Soldier Boy in the uh, the Vought building. He was gonna explode, kill a ton of people, and not everybody in the Vought building apparently is evil. It's just a lot of them are. But yeah, they couldn't let them go in there and kill the the people, so they had already one discourse. So that was one thing they were trying to prevent from happening. And then the other side, uh, the other side, obviously they wanted to go kill him. They didn't have a problem. So it was those two guys fighting, and then they locked them up. So I was like, okay, that's fine. I don't see a problem with that. Then they get into the Vot building, or going to the Vot building, and you have a uh, Homelander going to get his son. And he tells him, oh, it's okay, you ki uh, you killed your mom, it was an accident, whatever. He hugs him, and then he takes him with him. And Ryan doesn't seem to have a problem and put up a fight, and we'll see later on why. And then he comes with him all the way uh, to uh, Vought, and these guys are breaking in. Now they're trying to kill him, and he comes out with his son, and he's talking to Soldier Boy and saying, oh... This is your grandson, I'm your son, let's work together. And I thought Soldier Boy, you know, this whole scene, I'll, I'll say this, it was, it built up some great tension seeing this. You know when you see videos that have like video analysis on uh, cer certain scenes and how well it was done and uh, the feeling, intensity and this and that. I felt like this show had a perfect one right there where when he was walking up to him and he was talking to Homelander, no, I highly doubt anybody really truly knew what Soldier Boy was thinking and what he was going to do because the way he was acting, it could have gone either way. It could have gone that he was going to attack him and try to kill him or that he was going to work with them because when he was talking to him and stuff, it looked like he was listening, but it also looked like he was a little distant until we found out that later on, nope, he thinks he's a bitch and he's like, you're, you're worthless like what his father said. So... I get that he views him as himself and stuff, but still, it makes no sense that he was bitching the entire time about wanting a son, wanting a, I mean, wanting a kid, wanting a kid, and, you know, raising a child, and then having one, and now you're just like, well, fuck you. I get it that he is already grown, 
and possibly not be able to change, but still, it's like, he didn't even try. And he could have done with Ryan, at least. It's his grandson, so he could have, you know, done something there, but whatever. But then they get into the fight, and I was like, okay, this is cool. Because now Soldier Boy 100% is on their side. Because before, it was kind of shaky which side he was on. He was talking about, this is my son. He was talking about, he wants a kid for a long time. All this stuff. So this was becoming a big deal, and Billy was even trying to tell him, hey, look, man. He might be in your bio, uh, has your biology, but he's still not you. So he, it doesn't count. And we didn't know what side he was on the fence. But then he joined him, so it was like Billy got what he wanted. Maeve was there to fight. And then we had Ryan trying to stop them as they were attacking him. And then Billy's looking, and I was just like, oh, fuck no. I already had the idea in my head. I'm like, this guy's not going to kill Homelander. He's going to stop him to save Ryan because he just wanted him to explode and destroy the building or whatever and end up killing his son or whatever. And, well, it's not even his son, but the kid. And to me, I was just I was just annoyed because I was like, Billy, throughout all these seasons, has been talking about how badly he wants to kill Homelander, what he would do to kill him. And he was, like, crossing so many lines, doing so many fucked up stuff just to kill this guy. And now he has the perfect golden opportunity to do it, which he probably will never, ever have the chance uh, better than this to do it. Obviously, he's going to kill him at some point, but he's not going to have a golden opportunity as great as this to uh, do it. And guess what he does? He legit just stops it. For Ryan, which pissed me off because like every time we had to hear this guy talk about Omlander, I'm gonna take down Omlander, this and that and all that shit, and now he stops because of this. It seemed very, um, I don't want to say out of character, but it seemed very pathetic to me and made me disappointed in him. I was like, this guy was willing to do whatever it takes just to take this guy down, and now he's not doing it because of uh, Ryan. It just felt like it just felt pathetic to me, so I did not like that. That thing pissed me off like crazy. And then uh, it was only Soldier Boy was like, "Nah, I want to end him," which is like, "Damn, I don't expect Soldier Boy to be that high strong about ending him." But he was willing to do it, and now Billy is fighting him because you know Ryan attacked him. I was like, "Ryan, get the fuck out of here!" That shit pissed me off when he attacked him. I was like, "Get the hell out of here! You're you have no point in this. Get the fuck out of here." He he, you know. He launched that mother that little ass kid away, okay? Then he comes back, so he smacks the shit out of Ryan. I don't blame him. Ryan was attacking him, and if he keeps on getting in the way, he can't fully kill Homelander. He needs his full att uh, undivided attention. So he smacked that bitch out, knocked him out, good. But then this pissed off Butcher, and now Butcher is fighting him, and now it's a fight between the boys, literally the boys, Versus him, which pissed me off. I was like, really? I mean, it's like, yeah, is he a bad dude? Yeah, definitely. Especially when we saw what he did to Black Noir. But in this case, he went with the deal. You made a deal. He's following through with the deal. And you guys are now betraying him because of this kid. The kid. And I get it. It, You know, it, it's the, it's weird because Billy is usually not that type of guy. Uh, it's more like Huey and stuff like that, but this was his decision because it's Ryan. And I was like, you know, man, fuck Ryan. Because in the end of the day, Ryan turns evil anyway and joins Homelander and he's trying to save Homelander. And Homelander's not going to change. So you basically not only threw away your golden opportunity to take out Homelander, but now you also have a kid who is his son who has his powers and he's turning to the dark side and you're just letting it go. Like, I'm sorry, but I would rather have him die. I'd rather have Ryan die than uh, join Homelander because... Let's say, if, because first of all, Soldier Boy is your best option to beat him up. But if Soldier Boy dies or whatever, then who the fuck is gonna take him out, huh? You, you you can't even use Ryan now because Ryan's on his side, and that makes it even more dangerous. So now you have two super powered beings who have the same power. Obviously, Ryan's not as strong as his dad, as it was shown. Uh, but he still is insanely OP, and he can kill a ton of people, especially humans. He could kill the boys off if he wants to, you know. But uh, unless they take uh, temporary V. But yeah, like you just had a golden opportunity there to take out Homelander and you didn't. And then it was even dumber with Queen Maeve because I would have thought Queen Maeve would be helping out. But no, no, no. Queen Maeve was like, oh no, uh, I'm going to still fight Hom uh, Homelander. He's like, I'm still going to fight Homelander. Okay, she's going to still fight Homelander. And to me, I was like, okay, this is stupid. Because Homelander was like, dude, I have, I'm, I'm not trying to waste my time. I have no problem with you. Just forget it. Let's put that behind us. I get it, what he did to her. Makes sense why she would be pissed. But then he was like, let's forget it. He was trying to look past it. And she would just keep on attacking. I was just like, okay, for one, I want you guys to attack Homelander. But here's the thing. 
if you guys are not going to do it, then just all together don't do it. Don't just have half of it doing half not. And why is she fighting him by him or by herself? It just made no sense to me. I was just like, okay, uh, she's obviously uh, she's obviously okay with Billy breaking up the planet and stopping trying to kill Homelander with the best possible option they have, but she's still trying to kill Homelander. It made no sense to me. I'm like, you were so shit scared that you couldn't do it by yourself. Now you have the opportunity to do it. And you still want to do it, but you would rather still fight him by yourself. It was just so dumb. I, if that was, if she was that serious, you know, about beating Homelander, then maybe you would probably would be working with. Him. He basically what he does, uh, uh, she used to attack him. So it's like, wouldn't that wouldn't that make you on Soldier Boy's side? Because if not, then why the fuck are you attacking him? Like, I don't get it. They, they've been telling us how he's so OP, you can't take him on by yourself. He's a strong superior. And now she's trying to find him by herself. And it's not even reasonable. It's not like he's being a threat to anybody. The only person he's being a threat to is Soldier Boy. And they're already trying to take him out anyway. So what is your problem? Why are you attacking him? I get it, she's pissed. But if she was so pissed, she would be helping out Soldier Boy. I get it, she would be going against her own, uh, you know, friends and stuff. But still, you would have assumed that if she's that willing to do that, it was just dumb. I get it, you gave us a cool fight scene between Queen Maeve and uh, him, but it's just dumb that she did that. And on top of that, the fight between them two, I'll get into that too. Even though I like the way it looked, there was some problems I had with it. It's some stuff I want to talk about. But let's talk about Soldier Boy being the crap out of them. He was whooping the crap out of them all. They had nothing against him, only putting the, the mask over his face and making him, you know, pass out and whatever to take him in. Uh, and put him away and stuff. But I'm just like, you know, if you just think about it, I get it, but it's like, if you take this guy out, Homelander's gonna be there and he's the biggest threat. Now you can't beat him because one, Billy knows it, the rest didn't know it, but Billy took too many of the vials, so now he can't take it, he knows that he would die or can't take it again. So he lost that. He's gonna lose Soldier Boy, who's the best possible option, and now he, he he can't do anything, so it's just like dumb to me. So I was like, okay, whatever, you know, that stuff. But uh, I do think Soldier Boy is a lot stronger than people thought because people said, well, he struggled against Homelander. But the thing is, people forget is that when he was inside uh, that building, he released a ton of his energy because of the PTSD, and I think that drained him a lot of his power. If you don't know anything about power scaling, you know fights aren't as, as simple as this character beats that character, that character beats that character. There are situations that change the outcome of a fight. And in his uh, situation, he did release a big energy, a big amount of energy, which would not only drain him, but also slow down the, uh, the process of him firing off the energy blast again a second time, or even powerful enough. And, um, and uh, Soldier Boy just newly came to there. So it, it isn't like really fair to judge him based off that, because when I saw him in this episode, he was bodying, he was, he was not struggling, he was whooping ass. And even when he grabbed Homelander by the face, Homelander was struggling. Last time Homelander was grabbing him by the face and he needed help, but this time he was grabbing him. Not saying that if, you know, not saying that if uh, they did get into a fight that he would be outpowering Homelander, but he would have been doing significantly better than last time. And uh, from what we were shown with Queen Maeve being able to, you know, go back and forth with him toe to toe, maybe he would have been able to do better. And I know she's considered the second strongest, but Homelander even said that Soldier Boy is the closest to him in strength. So if Queen Maeve can do that, Soldier Boy would have done more damage. I still think Soldier Boy would have died, even if Soldier Boy has better fighting. I think Homelander would have killed him, and yes, he has the ability to take away his powers, but the problem is it does take a long ass time, and Soldier Boy, Homelander, if he gets scared enough knowing what's going to happen, he will fire as powerful of a, a, a laser as he can to obliterate him, and I don't think a shield can handle that, or his body, so, but yeah. Like I, I just think people like underestimate him quite a bit for, uh, because of what happened in the, you know, in the episode five, I think it was. And then we have, what's the thing called? The whole Queen Maeve thing. Like I said, Queen Maeve was so terrified of uh, Homelander. All these guys were so terrified of Homelander. It was like, if her and the rest of the seven just worked together to take out Homelander, because obviously they were all terrified of him and hate him. If they worked together, they could have killed the motherfucker a long time ago. Yes, is Homelander powerful? But from what we've shown, of Maeve by herself can do this, and yes, she is the most powerful, but she was around for a while. If she can do this and all these other characters, if they just worked together, they could have killed him. Uh, they wouldn't even need Soldier Boy to that extent, but I think Soldier Boy would be the best possible situation to win. But also, it doesn't make sense that why Queen Maeve is so afraid of him. Like, yeah, I get it, he can hurt you, 
But like all you needed was a couple of other superpowered beings that were decently powerful, and you could have killed Homelander there. And there's one particular uh, scene in or part in the fight itself that really made me look at him like really. It, he's like that, so it's like he's not even that powerful in, in in that regard itself. So it's like okay, but yeah, she she personally. If she could do that, I don't know why it was such a big deal. It made him less seem less of a threat. Some people say they nerfed him to have Queen Maeve be able to handle him. I agree because uh, when she came up to uh, when Homelander was questioning her about if she loved him, and she said no, Black Noir was able to take her out and take her. And I'm I'm not if I'm being honest. He took out Black Noir pretty easily. He just punched a hole right through his chest and ripped out his guts quite casually. And we were saw in the backstory when uh, you know. Homeland uh, Soldier Boy was beating the crap out of Black Noir. He basically beat him easily. All he did was put his head on a superheated hood and it basically melted his face. So he's not that strong either. So the fact that he can take down Queen Maeve and set, put her in that place, and now Queen Maeve is able to handle Homelander by herself, uh, does not make sense to me. Uh, yeah, so that also the scene that i'm talking about is she shoved a metal straw into his ear and it actually made him bleed it ruptured his eardrum so i was like he's supposed to be so powerful they stated that he can take nukes but she shoved a metal straw in his ear and actually damaged it and i know some of you guys say well she put a lot of force behind it but still it's gonna be a metal straw no matter how much force you put behind it of it hits him it could break it would bend and break if he was super durable the fact that it was able to puncture him showcases he's not that op yes it is, it's, it's only made out of metal, yes, it's going fast, but then you can say that anything that is, you know, like, like, just say, they have, like, a big-ass, like, metal, like, uh, shrapnel or something like that, and they, she could have just launched it through his guts and killed him. That made him look weaker to me, in my opinion. I was like, okay, he's not that big of a threat. Yeah, he, he's gonna be a bit of a hassle, but you can just get a, a couple of strong members and just jump him, as, jump his ass, you know? And this also made me hate A-Train more because I'm like, A-Train, you stupid bitch. Because by you doing this and getting Supersonic killed, if you actually worked with him, which I don't know why you wouldn't, seeing as how Homeland is treating you, he's never going to fucking respect you. If he worked with them, technically, if he got, let's say, his speed back, him, Starlight, uh, Maeve, uh, Supersonic, maybe Deep jumps into the motherfucking fray. Uh, and then we have... Uh, you know, the boys coming, Billy and Huey taking their uh, compound, a temporary V. They could have fucking took out Homelander. If Homelander was struggling as Queen May by herself, those guys together would have fucking murdered his ass. So he would have died. And seeing that she could do that to him by herself, it's like, well, A Train pissed me off more because he just fucking ruined it because he was just a, too much of a bitch. But whatever, like, yeah, I didn't like that. And then Ryan turning evil, that, that whole thing was so stupid. It made no sense. Ryan went from a kid that was appalled by the actions his dad didn't, scared of that stuff and terrified, to him having one little conversation with his dad, being like, okay, now I'm on your side. The fuck? You went from, your mom taught you all that stuff for years to be a good person, and then you had Billy in your life also trying to help you out, and this other woman who is treating you nicely, and they're all trying to make you a better person, and Homelander shows up, talks to you one fucking time like a normal person and is just nice to you a little and now you went from oh yeah i'm trying to be a good person to yep i'm evil and i get it billy the whole thing about him you know the shit he said to him but still is that so is the words like that so harsh that it will turn you to a side of where you're gonna do that and after what he saw his dad do no ryan in the other seasons would have been terrified like oh my god he he he's he can lose it whenever but in this one, he was smiling. I was just like, I get what you're trying to do, but it's just stupid. It had no real buildup. He just went from, oh, I'm a good kid to, oh, yeah, I don't give a fuck if I see uh, people die uh, and whatever. It's just, it just did not make sense. It, his character development was, it was, it, it was not very good. It was not consistent. It was not well written. It was just out of nowhere. I think it was... It was poorly done. There was no real good way that they showed it uh, transitioning into that. It just happened. He just went from, oh, I'm a good kid to now. Oh, I don't give a shit. It was just dumb. So yeah, fuck Ryan. I mean, it's, let's be honest. The reason that this happened was all because of Ryan. Uh, this kid did not fucking join Homelander. He did not just try to protect him. If he was not even there, he would have been killed. And I know a lot of people say, well, you want him to die already and stuff? 
that is not the problem. People need to understand. You, it's not the. It's not the. How do I say it? It's not what ha what it is. It's the situation that it happened under. Obviously, I agree that they should not kill Homelander right off. They should still have a, a, maybe a season or two at most to have him stay around before they take him out eventually. Uh, and they should have taken him out right now. But that's not the point. People keep on saying, well, you guys don't know what the fuck good writing is. And a good, a good writer would be able to write a good situation to get them out of it. This seemed like it was, uh, you know, a cop-out, an ass-pull, or a plot... Uh, it was literally a plot device to protect a Homelander. Homelander would have died, but then they gave the stupid reason of, oh yeah, uh, now he got his son, and his son is turning good, and his son is turning bad, and is joining his side. And it's just like, really? That shit is dumb. And some people said, he probably wouldn't even have died by the blast. I mean, uh, Kimiko survived it. And yes, some people would say, well, Kimiko was damaged herself. She got up really quick. The only reason she was damaged is because she was sent through a wall, and she had stuff hurt. And, you know, we saw a Billy, he was covering him up. So technically, Billy could have covered, uh, could have covered up, uh, you know, Ryan while he was doing it, but whatever. But Ryan was just being an annoying little shit. I did not like that. I was like, fuck this kid. Especially the fact that he was legit, he legit turned evil out of nowhere. That was just a dumbass reasoning. And like I said, it's not the problem that Homelander survived. It's the problem how they did it. They did it through him and, oh, now Billy went from... No matter what, I'm going to take him out. Talking about in the other episode, Scorching Earth, willing to betray his own team. And now he's like, no, uh, I, I'm not willing to go that far. That's, no, no, that's beyond my limits. He's like, really? Really? It's just dumb to me. So like I said, they could have done a different situation. They could have done a situation where Homelander is getting his ass beat, but he finds a way to escape. Uh, they could have done it in a way where, you know, Homelander got back up to help him out. He got like other superheroes to come and help him out and stuff. And you know, he could have done something, they could have done something more creative. A good writer would have been able to write a way for the character to get out of a bad situation. That's the thing. A lot of writers, they put certain characters, whether it's good or bad, in situations where they're in a tough situation where they can't really get out of. So how do you write it? That's the biggest problem when it comes to, you know, super like, any writer, but especially uh, super-powered writers, because you have to find a way for these characters to survive. A bad writer will write a lazy way and have a BS plot device cop out to protect them, which is bad writing. A good writer will be able to write a way where they get out of the situation alive, but it's a reasonable way and it makes sense. And this one, it wasn't like, it wasn't reasonable and it didn't make sense, but it was a stupid way and it was lazy and it was just, it was just wasn't the boys. It was very pathetic. Uh, like I said, I don't want I don't want Homelander to die, Homelander to die right away, but I think they could have wrote a situation for him to survive a lot better. If you were a really good writer, you would have found a way. This was not this was uh this was a showcase of a bad writer. So yeah, uh yeah, that was just my thoughts on season four, the finale, what happened, what I felt about it personally. I felt like it was a big letdown. Also, them taking away Soldier Boy. Uh, I love Jensen Ackles. I love him in Supernatural. Supernatural is my favorite show of all time. I love Supernatural. I love him in that. I love the, back, the fact that he's back with Eric Kripke and working with him. And, you know, you have the guy that was playing Bobby Singer and, uh, you know, Supernatural now called Robert Singer, which is, you know, Bobby, Bob is short for Robert. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I liked him. I thought he was a cool character. But the fact that he barely, he, this season... It took like, like two or three episodes for him to come out and be there. And now he's already gone. And I'm just like, really? I hope that they revive him back in season of four or whatever. Because he's just too cool of a character. And Justin Ackles is just too great of an actor to sideline uh, just like that for no reason. So yeah, hopefully they do something with him in the future. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this uh, new location isn't too much of a change for you guys to be like, what the hell? Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and stay tuned for my next one.